move, don't move, don't move. Hi everyone, Donut here. Welcome to Dumb Ways to Die. Because no one ever said criminals were the smartest people around. And when actions meet consequences, I don't feel bad about laughing about their misfortune. It is your lucky day today, everyone, because we're going to be talking about two incidents. That's right, two dumb ways to die with video evidence courtesy of a Denny security camera and police officer body camera and dash cam footage. Does anyone really fucking like Denny's? Like, especially if you have a Waffle House or a Cracker Barrel or just, I don't know, a small mom and pop diner in your town and there's a Denny's. You pick Denny's? I'd I'd rather eat at the Chinese place beside the Humane Society than eat it at Denny's. Anyways, I'll ask you guys another question that doesn't have to do with me raging about Denny's. Do you guys like modifying weapons? One second, no, I'm not a fed asking you that question. Do you like modifying and repairing your own guns? Legally, not after buying a fully automatic switch for your Glock off of Facebook Marketplace from a glowy. If you do enjoy doing that legally, then why not get better at it? Our sponsor for today is the Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is an online school for firearm technology and gunsmithing. Their programs cover troubleshooting, ballistics, firearms operation, armor options, and more. The coursework includes hands-on projects shipped directly to your front door. Courses like the 1911 Advanced Armor Elective, Two World Wars. You'll get to repair and modify 1911-style firearms. And guess what? You get to keep it in the end. The cool thing about this, based on eligibility, is most programs are approved for use of most TA and VA benefits and federal student aid. Go to sdi.edu slash donut for more information or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Dumb Ways to Die starts now. First up, we're going to try to solve this huge mystery of how the suspect died on a traffic stop by a bullet wound without the officers having to fire their weapons. The largest degenerate tent city on the planet. They think we're all surfers. We're celebrities. You want to know the truth about California? Get out here. We'll show you how we roll. May 12th, 2023, 11 p.m. LAPD patrol officers conduct a traffic stop and approach the vehicle from both sides. This is so the officer on the passenger side can get a different angle on what everyone inside of the car is doing. This comes in handy here in a minute. They talk to the guy a little bit then ask him to step out of the vehicle. Remember the case law Pennsylvania versus Mims says, if the police officer asks you to get out of the car on a traffic stop, you must get out of the car on a traffic stop or they will make you get out of the car on the traffic stop. This is for officer safety, but like I said, they can break your window and remove you from your vehicle, as we've seen hundreds of times. Those pesky sovereign citizens, we haven't talked about them in a minute. We need to find a good sovereign citizen video, or we can do sovereign citizen bingo. That's been a while. Turn the car off. You okay? What's wrong? You crying? Hey, my name is Oswald. That's what I need to okay? Real quick. The reason I'm talking to you is you were there stopping the crosswalk, are you? I didn't know, I'm not right from you. You have an idea on you? Yeah. Let me, let me see it. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Let me see your ID, pardon? I'm about to give you. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Go ahead, go ahead, let me see it. I'm about to. Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. I'm asking you to. Yeah. Yeah. Cars in your name, sir? This is my wife. This is, this is her ID. This is the registration. Let me see your ID, sir. I'm kidding. I'm sorry, sir. Okay, check it out, sir. I'm going to verify all your information, okay? Okay. When I do that, I'm going to step out the car, okay? Okay. Little bit of weed, that's it. Yes, sir. Seems pretty normal. The guy's a bit nervous. He says he just put eye drops in. Then the cop says, I smell marijuanas. Look, I don't care if you smoke the wacky tobacco. Yeah, I enjoy it in states where it's legal. It is legal in California, but it's not legal to drive while under the influence anywhere. And it's not very cool. Don't you want to be cool? I'm guessing that's why the cop asked him to step out. Little bit of weed, that's it. Yes, sir. Come on, step out. Come on. Hey, guys, 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 guys. Wait a minute, what happened here? We heard the passenger side cop say, gun, 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 gun. So he's got that good angle seeing into the car. Then the driver's side cop struggled with the guy. Then we hear, don't reach for it from one of the officers. And the guy is now clearly on the ground, not moving. So what happened? Let's try to solve this mystery using the other officer's body camera. I just put contents I didn't know I'm not from here. Yeah. Let's see it. Where you from? I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Where are you I'm sorry. What are you doing? Yeah, go ahead. see it. I'm about to. Can I do it? Okay. 
Hey, go, 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 go! Done! Hey, don't move, don't move! Don't reach for it! Don't reach for it! Don't reach for it! Wait, did that caption just say suspect fire shot and then he's on the ground motionless? Enhance. Enhance. What a mystery we have stumbled upon, folks. I feel like Mr. Ballin could make a three-hour episode out of this traffic stop alone and then explain to us what hitchhiking is. Love you, John. I'm just playing. Don't hurt me. If we didn't have three camera angles to this incident, I don't think we would have ever figured out what happened. Good thing there's dash cam footage, too. Oh, he shot himself. Just like in that trash donkey piece of shit movie, World War Z. Oh, what? You like the movie World War Z? Well, I kind of do too, if you didn't read the books. They just kind of shit on the books and the author, Max Brooks. It could have been turned into an eight-part miniseries, where every chapter is two to three hours long. What the fuck do I know about entertainment? Anyways, back to this idiot giving himself an emergency tracheotomy with a bullet. So what I think had happened was, he knew the cop was right here, so he was trying to twist around to shoot the cop, but the cop grabbed his right arm and pulled it back, and that's when he pulled the trigger and shot himself in the throat. He, he got it past his body, and then the cop grabbed his arm, and he just boop. <laughs> Well, it sucks to suck, nerd, onto our next video. The second video that we're about to take a look at is probably some of the funniest criminal shit that I have ever seen. And trust me, I grew up when the internet was born. Yes, I used to frequent Rotten.com with all my friends. Let's do a play-by-play. -play. Our robber here runs up to the car and starts doing a whole rob. One female victim jumps out, runs into the Denny's, and starts screaming, they be robbing out there, call 12. The driver of the vehicle says, this, I don't gotta be here for this, and throws it in reverse, striking our robber with the door. The robber decides this is too hairy of a situation for him. These people are not about to give up their belongings without a fight. So he turns around and starts running towards the getaway driver. The getaway driver in this silver car right here just takes off, leaving his friend in an open parking lot. What might the victim, the driver, who that guy just robbed, do now? Open parking lot? The victim is behind the wheel of a car that's moving? The victim driver, fearing for his life, seizes this opportunity to put an end to the robber's reign of terror and gives him a gentle bump. You might be saying, Donut, we've seen criminals get hit by cars before. It's pretty awesome. What's so special about this one? So what you don't hear and what you don't see is that the robber still had his gun in his hand and when the car hit the robber, while he was flying through the air, he accidentally shot himself in the head. God really did not like this man. And now from the top. Let's just watch that one more time. I can't find anything saying that the victim, the driver inside of the car got in any trouble, but seeing as how the police lieutenant is almost f***ing <laughs> laughing in his interview, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that nothing happened legally to the driver. The suspect, on the other hand, isn't dead. He's in critical condition. You know, almost accidentally self forever sleeping while being yeeted through the air. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning into this new series that I like to call Dumb Ways to Die. We should continue doing these. If you want to help support the channel, go on over to DonutOperator.com, get some super sweet merch, follow me on my, all my other other platforms go to donuts raw police footage if you don't want to see my big dumb face talking or check out my vlog channel if you want to see some of my daily life and the cool people that i hang out with until next time everyone please have a fantastic day Quack.